Awesome. All right, so let's see if I'm a bird person or not. It says, if you're a bird person, bird owners are very social, outgoing, and expressive. Hmm. So the first word we have here is social. That's S-O-C-I-A-L, social. So the word social means that you like people and you're used to living in a community with many people. The word social is related to society. Society is a noun, which is a place where people live and interact. So our example sentence here says, Lynn is very social. She loves hanging out with friends and going to parties. Ooh, Lynn is very social. She loves hanging out with friends and going to parties. 在中文里面呢，我们常说，哎，某某人很会 social，、yeah. 但其实 social 它是一个形容词哦，代表你是善于交际的。那例句说呢 ，Lin 他善于交际，他很爱跟朋友出去玩以及参加派对。所以如果我们要说某个人善于交际，我们可以说 he or she is social。那文章开头呢，我们说到。鸟类的主人非常善于交际 ，and they are outgoing and expressive too. Wow! So we have two other adjectives that are very similar and often used with the word social, like Elsie said, outgoing and expressive. So yesterday we mentioned the word outgoing. Basically,、mm -hmm. that means you like people and you're friendly. So the word expressive. Now that is an adjective, and the verb form is express. So if you like to express yourself, it means you show your emotions. Very easily, you like to talk about how you feel, or your face is very expressive, so people can、uh, see when you're mad. So, for example, I'm very expressive. If I'm a little bit upset, I'm like.、Mm. You can probably tell、oh. very easily because I don't really hide things on my face. What about you? So I can tell that you're upset from your face. Yeah. From your facial expressions. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm like you. Yeah. Very yeah. expressive. Expressive. Easy. Or you can say, um, in English we say you're very easy to read. Not reading、oh. like a book, but your face is easy to read.、Do、so I, I can say you're happy or you're sad. 看到你的脸就可以读出你的情绪。那我们昨天呢，在文章中有提到 outgoing 这个字是外向的。那这边呢，我们看到 expressive 这个形容词呢，是有表现力的、表情丰富的，或者是善于表达的。那刚刚 rainbow 有讲到好多好多的字，我们帮同学们整理一下。express 这个动词呢，它是表达。那 expression 是名词，我们常常会在前面搭配 facial 这个字。Facial expressions 就是表情啦。So a bird person can be very social, outgoing, and expressive. Wow, what lots else? Lots of good qualities. Yeah. So the article says they have strong personalities and like to talk loudly.、Ooh. The word "strong" can be used in many ways. So we can say that you know from the Marvel movies, Thor is very strong because he can lift a heavy hammer. So that's referring to physical strength. Yeah. But when we say that people have strong personalities, we mean that they're bold. Or when they walk in a room, even if they're not speaking, you're like, "Oh, she's here." So an example of a strong personality is, for example, many celebrities. They have a strong presence. They're good at public speaking. If Brad Pitt walked into the room, you wouldn't need to like hear him say a word, but you'd be like. Because he seems so strong. Yeah. So this being the strong personalities, 讲的是呢，个性是很强烈的，很凸显出来的。所以呢，爱鸟的人呢，他不但个性很强烈，还说话大声。They seem to like to have powers. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Yeah. What about the word? Loudly. Ooh. So when we talk loudly, that's L O U D L Y. Loudly. That's an adverb.、Mm -hmm. So when we say somebody speaks loudly, that means they're talking in a way that makes a lot of noise. So they're very, very noisy, and you might be like, "Wow, I'm on the third floor, and I can hear them on the first floor." So it's very, very loud. You can hear the noise. Example sentence is: The students played loudly, so the teacher told them to be quiet. The students played loudly, so the teacher told them to be quiet. Loudly 是一个副词，代表大声的。那例句说，学生们玩的太大声了，因此呢，老师要他们安静一点。Be quiet. Yes. So, however, they are also caring and polite to others. Wow, that's a lot of really good qualities. So, if somebody is caring, it means that they care and notice what other people need instead of only focusing on what they need or what they want. And when a person is polite, 
We have Japanese people are very polite, which means they always have good manners. They often say please, thank you, and they take care of each other, and they're nice to people. Yeah, we always say Japanese are really, really polite, right? Yeah, because、hmm. they always apologize. And bow to you. And bow to you. 鞠躬。那我们在文章里面看到 caring 这个字也是用来形容这个爱鸟人士的。Caring 是一个关爱他人的意思，所以如果你是 caring 的人，你很在乎关心别人。那 polite 是有礼貌的，如果没礼貌的呢，你可以在字首加上 i am 变成 impolite， 那就是没礼貌的，或者是 rude r u d e 这个形容词。So a bird person can be caring and polite too. And what do they like to do? They're so cool. They're so cool. They're so good. Yeah, and it says well, they love to travel to. Exciting new places. Oh, so here we have the word place. That's P L A C E place. So the word place is a location. So an exciting place could be a country. For example, I've often heard that Morocco is very beautiful and it has great food and a super amazing culture, and it's very exciting because it's so different from Taiwan. Now, a place could also be a mountain. Or an alley somewhere far away that's a little bit dangerous. Hmm. So, what is the next place I'm gonna go to? That's worth thinking about. Example sentence here says, "This quiet little park is my favorite place in the world. This quiet little park is my favorite place in the world." So, Elsie,、mm-hmm. you look like you like to travel. Yeah. In all the places that you've been, which one's your favorite place? Oh, my favorite one, maybe Thailand. Oh, why? Well, because I just came back from Thailand, and I like to see different things in different countries. And Thailand really amazed me a lot.、Oh. Hmm. So place 这个地方呢？哦、oh, ，place 这个字呢，就是地方，对不对？ Yeah. 好，那我们刚刚例句说，我们回去一下刚刚的例句说，这座安静的小公园是我在这世界上最爱的地方了。Do you have a favorite place? Oh my gosh, there's way too many. Definitely too many? no. My favorite place changes every day. There are、so、just the、so、park. There are so many favorite places. Not just the park. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, do we have another kind of people to talk about here? Yeah. So we talked about bird people. Yeah. Now we're gonna look at fish people. Ooh. Okay.、Uh-huh. So the next part of the article is about another kind of person, which is a fish person. It says, if you are a fish person, fish owners are often quiet. Just like their pets, so we're talking about people that, like fish, are probably not super outgoing or friendly. They like to spend a lot of time alone. They don't say very much. 我们这边在说的是呢 ，fish person 爱鱼人士。那鱼主人呢，常是安静的，就像他们的宠物一样。Sometimes I do like to spend time with myself, so maybe I'm a fish person too. What about you?、Mm, actually, me too. But、right? I feel like everything we talked about, we could be any of those、yeah. people、mm. because there's always different times where you have a different personality,、yeah. right? That's true.、Mm. So let's see what it says about fish people. It says they work hard at their jobs. Fish owners' homes and workspaces are always clean and organized. Oh, that sounds like me too. Actually, <laughs> I'm actually a very clean person. There's not that much on my desk. So here we have the adjective clean. That's C L E A N clean. So the word clean means there are there's no dirt, there are no marks, there are no stains. There's nothing like dirty or ugly or dust everywhere. A clean person likes to keep an organized space and keep everything washed and tidy. So I really like being super clean. It makes me happy. So our example sentence here is: Mom washed the car this morning, so it looks very clean now. Mom washed the car this morning, so it looks very clean now. Clean 呢，在文章中当形容词来用是干净的。那它本身也可以当做动词哦。比如说房子脏了 ，You need to clean the house， 那个就是动词形式清理的意思。那例句说啊，妈妈今天早上洗了车，所以她现在看起来很干净。那回到文章当中呢，我们说到女主人工作努力，他们的家和工作的地方总是干净，而且 organized 就是有条不紊、井然有序的。I work hard. But maybe my home and my office are not that clean. Oh, how dirty! <laughs> Pretty dirty. <laughs> Pretty dirty. <laughs> Now we know a secret. 
Okay, what's the next part of the article? Rainbow. <laughs> the article says they like to relax at home by watching their colorful pets swim around.、Uh -huh. So we can see that they probably don't like to spend a lot of time outside. Maybe they work really hard. They go home. They need some quiet time to think. So we have the idiom here to do something. By doing something, so that means we are trying to accomplish a goal with a certain action. So I can say that I show Elsie I care about her by giving her a gift. Oh, thank you for the gift, Rainbow. <laughs> 文章这边说到呢，女主人喜欢在家 relax 放松，借由做什么事情来放松呢？借由观赏这些五颜六色的宠物们在鱼缸里面游来游去。我们这边的 by 是个介系词啊，解释为借由某方式。现在就让我们进 Magic Box 听讲师讲解感官动词的用法。